Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I just want to clarify a few things about how to search materials on this channel, but also generally speaking on any other YouTube channel. Now, occasionally I get a query through the comments, do you have a video on this? And I respond, yes, I have a video on that. And then the person would invariably always ask me, can you post a link to that video? Now, of course, what you need to keep in mind is that there are over 500 videos on my channel. So if I'm going to post a link in a comment, I have to go and look for that link. I have to search it too, which is usually not an impossible task, but Obviously, if I'm not on my computer, it's harder to search on the phone. But more importantly, I think if you yourself had the tools, you wouldn't even have to ask me to provide you the link. So that's why if you watch this video all the way to the end, I am pretty sure and I'm promise, I can promise you that you will be able to effectively search relevant videos on my channel but also on any other channel that we that you might use. So I'll uh, move on to a screen recording where I will show you how to do search on my channel and then come back and conclude this conversation. So there are several ways of doing a search for videos on YouTube. So let's say you go to my channel post-colonialism and the most general form of search is when you use the top search bar right and you just type in your keyword there let's say we do a search for hybridity okay so here is the list that shows up there right and you click on any one of those and you'll see all the videos that are available on hybridity now if you choose any other term but let's say post-colonialism, right? And add a few more, you know, qualifiers to it, a few more keywords, and you'll get more specific videos. That's my video on post-colonialism, a list of all the videos on post-colonialism. So the most general search on YouTube is when you use YouTube's own search bar right at the top. Let's say you wanna be more specific so just go back to my channel or any other channel. The first place to look would be the playlists. If you just click on the playlists, all the public playlists of my channel or any other channel will show up. Then you just scroll through the playlists and see which one is relevant to your topic, right? And if you click on it, it would list all the videos in any given playlists. So that's the second not too specific, but slightly more specific way of looking at different kind of videos. Then finally, the most specific and focused search on any channel is when you use this search bar, right? This is the one where if you put your key terms or your search terms will render the videos on my channel or any other channel. So you can put in anything in this search. Let's do a search on wording because someone had asked me a question about that. So here are all the videos on wording available on my channel. So you start with the general search right at the top. Then you can go to the playlists and scroll through the playlist and then you search on a channel using the channel search space. Remember, the final option would only be available to you on a computer, but that is the most specific way in which you can search on my channel or any other channel. That's it. So as you notice, the first simple way of looking for any video on YouTube is to just use the general YouTube search. Within that, make sure you either put a long tail keyword or at least some keywords related to your topic 
and then see what comes up. That's the general search. A search specific to a channel can be conducted in different ways, as you've noticed. One is just go over the playlists and see what topics are covered under different playlists and then scroll down the playlist. More specifically, if you're looking for a concept on my channel, just use the channel search as I pointed out and the videos that are there will show up. So I hope this answers this uh, question for you and I hope you can use it on my channel but also on any other YouTube channel. Now on a side note, I always point it out to everyone that videos are a good aid, right? Especially in humanities, but they are not the end point of your learning. The reason I've gathered all these materials here and recorded them for my students and for you is to give you an opening, to give you brief introductions, right? My hope is that you'll watch a video and then go and read on that particular topic. Most of the times, if I'm drawing on a book or a scholar's work, the links are in the description. You will be able to learn more effectively for your classes, but also generally as scholars, if you watch a video, then go and read the scholars who have opinions on that topic. And that way you will develop a comprehensive way of understanding a concept. Once you have understood a concept, you don't need me or anyone else to explain it to you. That is the whole purpose of this channel, to give you that opening, to give you my brief limited understanding of these concepts and ideas, but then hope that you'll take that knowledge, read further, and hence develop your own understanding of concepts better. That's all. Thank you so much. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Stay safe. Stay focused. And I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.